MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game three of the AL Championship Series between the Minnesota Twins and the Tampa Bay Rays. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for game three. Well, when you start the series on the road, obviously you'd love to sweep the first two games, but coming out of there with a split is pretty solid, too. Now they come home. They've taken back home field advantage, and we'll see if they can feed off this crowd and take control of this series. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Ryan Yarbrough will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? You know, Matt, he wasn't all that bad in his last one. In a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games, six full innings in his last one. And if they can score him a few runs, he has a chance to win this one here today. So striding in, Jorge Polanco. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 2-1. As usual, no surprise, 72 degrees, the game time temperature here inside Tropicana Field. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Josh Donaldson waits on deck. Hit on the ground to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Batting second, the third baseman, number 24, Josh Donaldson. So coming to the plate, Josh Donaldson. One, two. He's looked at for ball number two. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, d -Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter that darting hurt. in on the hitters the in the opposite hit. batter's box. It can be a real effective Ooh. pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. In now, Nelson Cruz. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Hit hard to short. Adamez scoops it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Down go the Twins in order. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score.
Rich Hill gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're going to get a chance to look at a good veteran pitcher here. This guy's been around the block a few times, but one of the things he does, he still competes at a high level, and he's never stopped trying to learn how to be a good pitcher. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 1 2. Popped him up. Adrianza stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Batting second, the second baseman, number eight. At the plate, Brandon Lau. One out, nobody on. Still two and two. The pitch. Shot toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the National League Championship Series as they've got a good one brewing over there as well. So striding forward now, Joey Wendell looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The one-two. Fouled off. Fouled away. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We are still scoreless. And the number four Minnesota hitter, Eddie Rosario. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One one home is in there for strike number two. The count is one and two. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. The one two. This is in the air out to right. Meadows has it, and there's one away. Batting fifth, the second baseman, A. Ray Adrianza. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. Lifted in the air toward the line and right, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 3 2 one more time. got the pitcher no chance to make a play let's see if he's okay out there
Trevor Richards. You're is forced onto the mound now following now the injury. For the Rays. Number 34, Trevor Richards. One one is taken for ball two. Adrianza leads off first with one away. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. And it's fouled away. He'll try it again, three and two. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. That is better. The center field is a heavy ball. Coming to the plate now, Byron Buxton. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. A three one. Heading out towards shallow right. Meadows will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Hit back toward the mound. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw home. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knot. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You were one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. At the plate, Mitch Garver. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. He set the 3 2. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. Two men are on with two men out. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Twins forced to settle for one. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Twins one. The Rays nothing. The 2 1. Fouled away. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. That is good. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Here now the 2-2. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty. One man out. Ooh. 
Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Jeez, this looked like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. the 2-1. Now this is slowly hit to short. Probably too slowly to get to. And indeed he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. Digging in now. Well, Kevin, Kevin Kiermeyer As he'll there. look to bring home that tying run from Kiermaier. second with a base hit into the outfield. swing tells me right there this guy's got his good slider work and that thing's got depth and bite and he fouls this one off lucky he got a piece right there he was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch pitch is mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away and oh they say he beat the throw safe at third when it rains it pours sometimes and it's a downpour right now First an air and now a pass ball. They really need to clean it up and start taking care of the baseball. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw on to first and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. One left for Tampa. They trail this one one to nothing. Top of the third set to get underway, and that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. The plate now, Josh Donaldson. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Two up, now two back. down on strikes in this inning. He looks really Nothing. sharp out there, guys. Ooh. Into the box, Nelson Cruz. Two balls and a strike. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ground ball foul down the left side. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We'll have more of game three after this message. of the inning now and standing in the outfielder Manuel Margot slider is in there and now it's one and two here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone Oh, 
well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that feel because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Now the three and two pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Buxton is there, and he has it for the first out. Stepping into the box, Mike Sanino. One out, nobody on. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. Stepping up now, Yandy Diaz. It was a flyout for him to start the home first. Line but speared on a hop. Throw in time and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. Game three moves forward to the fourth inning now. It's the Twins one, the Rays nothing. In now, Eddie Rosario. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A-B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A-B. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Into center field, line drive base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Standing in now, Ari Adrianza. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And an unproductive at bat that time as the runner holds it second with one away now. Digging in, Miguel Sano. He drew a base on balls his first time up. One run on three hits and one error make up the totals for the Twins to this point. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Two on here with one man out. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Fouled off. Swung on by Broxton, and this is sent to deep left field. A leap, but he won't get it. It's off the wall. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Debo, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. To first. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Back with more from game three after this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Brandon Lau. The three and one pitch. 
And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Up next for the Rays, Joey Wendell. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Sano is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now that so a runner at first with one out now. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. The 1 1. Fouled away. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swung on but fouled off to the left. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. to the plate now Hunter Renfro on that fastball is too much for him there one and two no runs no hits and no errors for Tampa Bay so far swing and a miss and that ends the inning Ray's strand just the one they're down one nothing in Mitch Garver will start off the fifth in this one the 2 2 he's at the knees and called strike three pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate but probably too good to take and he's down on strikes for the second time yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Into the box now, Jorge Polanco. The swing, and he pulls it down the line and deep. Meadows moving back at the track. The wall. And a scaling attempt at the wall, but it'll be in vain because this ball is gone. A solo home run for Jorge Polanco. His first homer here in the series, and the Twins have taken a two to nothing lead. Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up in the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. Josh Donaldson. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And it's fouled away. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Now Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Wow, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Two out, nobody on. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins' DH. The 3-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And that's the third out. 
but not before the Twins get one and it comes on this solo home run on to the bottom of the fifth it's now two nothing Minnesota we're back at Tropicana Field and let's check in with Heidi Watney Matt race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineups offensive production and one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at bats right now he said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results until they start being more selective with their swings he said they will continue to struggle okay thank you Heidi. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him. And he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. At the plate now, Kevin Kiermeyer. Trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Popped into the air, back behind second. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. And that'll bring up Manuel Margo. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. They trail it here 2 to nothing. New inning set to get underway. And digging in is the outfielder, Eddie Rosario. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Drilled to the right side. Reined in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter number 13. Second base. Digging in to try it again. Eire Adrianza. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Ground ball right into the shift. He's got it. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's Miguel Sano. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. It is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. The 2-1. Laid off of for ball number three. The three and one pitch. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. The third field. He almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. 
So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. The 1-1 home. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Popped him up. Wendell is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for Minnesota. They're up two to nothing. Here now is Mike Zanino. They'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. This is foul right side. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Grounded back up the middle. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. When a guy in the mound is working on a no-no this late, every play is exciting and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. The high fastball is in there. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. One out, nobody on. Two two pitches fouled away. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Buxton is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now that. Now with the play, Brandon Lau. It was a walk in his last trip. Two out, nobody on. Fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Full count now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They trail things here. Two to nothing. Colin Poche is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 38. Colin Poche. All set for the start of the inning. And that will bring up the outfielder Max Kepler. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. All even now, two and two. Here it comes. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Stepping in now, Mitch Garver. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 
two and one. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The two two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. High in the air out to center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. The and now back to the leadoff spot right. in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Jorge Polanco. He's working on a one for three thus far. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Two and one now to the Twins' leadoff man. Now the two one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Two and two count. Here's the pitch. Three and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Adamas makes the catch to end the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three, but they hold a two nothing lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Joey Wendell. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 2-2. Two -two. And he fouls this one off. Hit on the ground toward the left. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seventh. One out now in the Tampa Bay seventh, and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Standing in now, Hunter Renfro. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Two out, nobody on. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays' DH. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. 3-2 pitch. And he struck him out to retire the side. So he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Down in order go the Rays. 
They're still down. It's 2-0. Chaz Rome has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52. Chaz. Ready to begin the eighth. And next, the dangerous power threat, Josh Donaldson. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. At the plate, Nelson Cruz, grounder, hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Set and the one two pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Into the box, Eddie Rosario fouled off. The one two fouled away. The one two. I got to count two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Aire Adrianza would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Down go the Twins in order, but they're on top two to nothing. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and up next will be Willie Adamas. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. The 1 1 home. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Base hit, and the no hitter comes to an end here in inning number eight. Hey guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back foot slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver the base hit. Now here comes the Twins manager on his way to the mound. And that's going to be all for our starter, Rich Hill. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard, but he cannot lose this one. Trevor May takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 65, Trevor May.
Kevin Smith will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Fastball is too much for him there. One and two. May has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today, at least among bullpen arms. His strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. This guy was tailor made, Matty V, to be a relief pitcher. He comes out of the bullpen, guns a blazing. Two pitches that he can strike you out with, and more importantly, he comes out with an attitude, and that attitude is nasty, and he gets a lot of swings and misses. The one two doesn't catch the outside corner it's a ball a runner at first with no outs here takes this the other way to right in there a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now that was so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d row and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Can this be two? One there. The relay back to the pitcher, covering in time to double them up. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. So here's Mike Zanino, runner in scoring position with two gone. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Hey, what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back-to-back -back singles to the first two batters. The 2-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One left for Tampa. They're down two to nothing. Nick Anderson enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Randy Rosarena is into the ball game now as he assumes duties in center field. Rosarena. All set to start the ninth in this one and A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and there's the first out here in the ninth. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. To the plate now, Miguel Sano. Line toward right center, and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. In now, Byron Buxton, and it's fouled away. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. It's 
stepping in now, Max Kepler. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. He'll try again, one, two. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. The 2-2. Two -two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Twins wind up stranding one. They're up two to nothing. Taylor Rogers comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 55, Taylor Rogers. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Yandy Diaz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they'd gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. And that is the start they were looking for down by two as that misses for ball four. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Ready for another chance. Brandon Lau, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. Nobody out, runner on first. Got a piece, it's two and two. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because now if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And Hey, a strikeout always works too. Blake now, Joey Wendell. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Runner at first here, one man out. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And as a closer, a wild pitch is the last thing you want to do. His job was to finish this thing off, and he just made his job a lot more difficult. We'll see if he can get dialed in again here on the next pitch. Two pitch gets him looking up around the letters. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in now scoring that. position. Go Those right are here. the times you really oh, want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Standing in now, Austin Meadows. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. 
Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. There's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason, and that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Twins have taken a 2-1 lead in this league championship series. Rich Hill takes home the win. Ryan Yarbrough was unable to work out of the second inning as he saddled with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious twins.